18-year-old Isaiah Mumbere and 16-year-old Bwambale Isaac are residents of Mumbuzi Cell, Nyamwamba Division in Kasese Municipality. They were pulled out of the fast-moving flood water as they tried to cross from Kihara village to Kasese town. We met some two boys in the middle of River Nyamwamba and uh, as you can see it is now flooding uh, because uh, we don't know how it has come because here it has not rained but it has rained somewhere at Kilembe. So we've been getting that challenge. When it rains Kilembe and doesn't rain here in town, we get floods. But then so, there was a very small gap in between which, was, uh, which had not captured the, flood, the, the much flow of the water. So he, they kept, it kept them in the middle of the river. So the chairman called the police, uh, the rescue team, they came with a very nice and good drop. So we, the community around and the people around actually, including police, helped to rescue these two souls. The locals have been asked to remain vigilant, especially when crossing the river during the rainy season, since River Nyamwamba normally floods during the month of May. People have taken it granted to be crossing River Nyamwamba, though they see it is flooding. So we are to condemn those people who may go ahead with that thing, that please stop that. Also urge the community members, of, especially in, within the Nyamwamba Valley, to make sure that they avoid entering the river unnecessarily because we are still in the rainy season and the month of May is usually when the Nyamwamba River peaks in flooding or in rises in water. The Kasese District Police Commander, Wilfred Bagenda, led a team from the police unit in charge of fire and rescue services following an alert by a good Samaritan. It had started flooding within its valley, uh, hence uh, making these children who had gone into the, the dry plain to be cut off by the water. And we responded with a police fire brigade of Kasese and they have managed to rescue the two boys with the support from the local leaders and the, the community members. So we, are, we thank the community for the vigilance and the, the cooperation and support. We have been uh, with this problem, with this biggest challenge of Nyamwamba for quite a long time, since 2015 actually, when uh, it started uh, becoming a serious problem. So the community around should be careful and vigilant about the same problem. However, we also appeal to the government for consorted effort towards uh, resolving this problem because most of our community people around here, those from this, uh, this shore, of the, uh, the, the side of, the, of, of River Nyamamba, normally farm, oh, they do their farming from the other side. Over the years, since 2013, River Nyamamba has often flooded, leaving destruction in its wake. Scores of lives have been lost, property destroyed, and critical infrastructure such as roads and health centers, including Lembe Mines Hospital, have been damaged. <laughs>